What is happening? Welcome to another Pitch Video Breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock, founder of a site called Pitchless.com, and we today are going to talk about Rowanzi Contreras. Uh, he's a really fun prospect coming up for the Pittsburgh Pirates. He throws an amazing slider, throws pretty hard as well. Exciting stuff here for Pittsburgh fans. Um, and by the way, I'm wearing a Tatiaga shirt. This is in honor of Clayton Kershaw, who is the ace that is always going to ace. Uh, you can get it on the Pitchless store. Um, go check that out at Pitchless.com. But... Uh, we are going to watch Rolante Contreras, and he, he just does wonderful things. We're going to watch it as he went against the, the Phillies on uh, on Sunday. So that's 94, and that's not really as hard as he goes. He gets that call at the bottom of the zone. Um, Schwarber is getting confirmation, of course. Is that as low as it goes? Okay. And there's the breaking ball, and that's some free real estate. Now, uh, keep in mind, that's at 01. If you throw this like 3-2, if you throw this with two strikes or so, it's a lot easier for Shorber to hit because he's a little bit more protective. Doesn't really know if he wants to swing all the way through. This is not the ideal place for this. Uh, he's likely trying to get it more down and away to come back and get a called strike. Or if he was going for a whiff, he'd be down here. This is really not the area you want to you want to go for. A little bit of a mistake. He got away one there. One there. So now at 02, looks like he's going with a high heater. He's trying to essentially get this not here, but actually up here, right? He wants this out of the zone up here let's see where he goes with it a little too much okay Ronzi, take it down just a little bit i think he overthrew that one <laughs> just a touch um one two i actually kind of like the idea to go back to it because because it was so far out of the zone there's no reference point that he has of if this is a strike or not yet right like if he if he threw this one and he took it then he's like okay he's establishing that that's bad you know that that like he's not gonna swing at that one but if it goes up here it kind of is as if it didn't happen so that's a huge mistake to me um and a 93 is honestly not the velocity that we normally see from Contreras we normally see closer to you know mid to upper 90s um 93 away like that in a one two count if Schorber I think is really positioned for a fastball I think this is kind of telling Contreras he was looking for um, that slider to kind of come down in here and he's being protective because this is normally something that gets pushed opposite field pretty easily this is middle uh, this is what I call YM lock that is I uh, I uh, middle vertically right the worst place that you can pitch is middle uh, height wise it's not this it's this right so this is okay if you want to go up if you want to go down this is fine but this is where it's easiest to make contact with the bat you just kind of throw it out there and it, it, that's where the plane of the bat is is there uh this is harder to hit because like if it's down over here up over here it's harder to hit but this stuff is more you know it's a lot easier to hit there so big mistake sorry for the tangent show me the slider no he still goes with the heater and he's trying to beat schwarber with that pitch now he's gonna go to the slider okay and that's the pitch that i think schwarber's been waiting a long time for and it's a little frustrating watching this at bat because this inherently is a fantastic offering. But the problem has been that Contreras hasn't been able to throw this heater well. He hasn't actually thrown the things that would have gotten Schwarber if he were sitting on this pitch before, which he was. So, yes, you ultimately threw this good offering. But because you weren't able to punish Schwarber for waiting on it before, it didn't matter when you threw it. Schorber is still going to wait for it and not be able to, you know, not swing at it. Now, now that you've thrown it and it's two and two, now it's what I call the gambit is you got to throw it again now because Schorber now has, uh, has moved away from being dead set on that pitch. Now he doesn't quite know. And if you throw it again, I think he's going to swing over it. And he does, right? Um, this isn't that different than this. It really isn't. Both look like strikes. Both is... A scenario where if he's looking for a fast way swinging over it, Schorber was. Good job, Ronzi Contreras. He executed two in a row. That wasn't one in a row. That was two. Even though you didn't get the swing on the previous one, that was a good one. And it allowed you to then get the swing when you executed it a second time. Good stuff. Uh, so now we got a right-hander. Oh, man. 94. Just kind of in there. And Castellanos was ready for it. Ah, It's hard to hit a fastball. But yeah, you should be really happy if you're Contreras. You just pumped in a fastball and you didn't get punished for it. Sweet. All right. Uh, I missed the pitch there. So, oh, one. I was trying to go upstairs. Okay. 
it's a little weird seeing 93 from from Contreras, honestly. Um, I don't hate this idea. I think he's just missing a little bit too much. He wants that to be in the zone, I think. Uh, and now 1-1. One, one, I mean, I think this is the time as time as any. Just get that slider down here. You're gonna you if you if you execute this slider now, you're gonna get a strike. Let's see if he got it. Oh, even better. Just get it like way out of the zone and Cassiana just swings like a long time ago. Let's do it again. I mean, he just swung a miss on that thing. Yeah. He wants to do it. Do it again. 2-2. Two, two. Do another slider. Yeah, done. Right? I mean, like <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I have a, I have a cough these days. Um the reason why I, I'm saying doing it again is because you can see even this one, which is, this one's far out of the zone, right? This is like a surfer in California, far out. And you can still see, like, Cassiano is, is committing hard. I uh, almost swung at this. There's a large difference between this and this, right? Look at all this area that you can clearly, like, go into that if you throw it in there, you'll get that swing. And that's what happened here, right? That's where it is much better i mean this is competitive all the way through he's so out in front and that, honestly i feel like that starts with castellanos not being able to take advantage of the fastball at 93 to start the at bat right or 94 i guess it was uh castellanos missing on the heater now it's in his head that he needs to be better on heaters and he just loses the sliders i uh, that's not a bad pitch inherently it really isn't uh, I just missed, this, missed it a little bit, but that kind of pitch also later in the count, too, when a guy feels like he needs to swing at something close is going to destroy him. Uh, now, slider for a strike. Oh, no, he gets a fastball away. Good. That, that's fine. I mean, I know I talk a lot about the, you know, the I just, just just talked about, like, YM lock, right? But on the edge exactly at 1-0 like that, that's beautiful. I'll take that. And he's trying to get free real estate there. Um, good job, Bohm, holding off. There you go. That works. Hey, that's fine. 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. He's looking for a fastball normally. I mean, this isn't ideal. Like, this is this is pretty much a hanger if he's looking for one. I don't think he is. I think he's just like, hey, just get this over in some way. I, and he gets a fly out. You know? Bohm is going to look back and go, oh, man, I think I could have gotten that one. But, and that's it. Uh, that, that's that's where Ronzi Contreras. I mean, the slider is really good, right? The the Phillies could not handle it this entire inning. You struck out Castellanos with it. You struck out Schorber with it. You got your out um, against Mohm with it, right? The fastball to me is the biggest question moving forward. It's not the overpowering fastball that we kind of thought it was with Ronzi Contreras. I remember man seeing him last year coming up and I thought 97, 98 bullets. Um, not this, and. His command isn't pristine. Uh, the, the slider is really good. But I think there's work to be done here still. And you're going to see some volatility, I think, the rest of the year. But there's steps to be taken here. And, and the fact that he has such a good slider is an amazing building block uh, for what hopefully will become a, a, a new sh star in Pittsburgh. They need one. Um, but that's going to do it for today. So thanks so much for subbing and, and hitting the bell. I know I haven't done as many videos lately. Been a little bit sick. Um, and, I, uh, yeah, of course you'll be getting about two to three every week moving forward, but that's going to do it. So my name is Nick Pollock and may your babbles be low and your strikeouts high.